friends, what's up? In today's video, I thought that I would just do a quick get unready with me. I did one before, but I didn't actually show you guys. It was weird. I don't know why I thought that was a get unready with me video. It wasn't that great. So I'm going to do an actual get ready, get unready with me video where I'm going to show you guys how I take off all my makeup, blah, 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 quick, quick, quick chit chat. And yeah, let's do it. What I always start off with is I always take off my lashes. The lashes are coming off. I'm just going to put them aside. And then after lashes, I always take off my contacts, but I'm going to leave my contacts in um, this video because if I take my contacts off, I won't be able to see and then I won't know if I'm in focus or not. So pretend that I took my contacts off. And then step number three, if you guys follow me on Snapchat and shit, you know, is putting on my robe. Now, usually I always take off whatever top I'm wearing underneath and just put on like a tank under because robes get hot and I'm like a sweaty mess all the time. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep my shirt on, but I'm gonna put on my robe so comfy like I look forward to always to coming home and changing out of whatever whatever clothes I'm in and just like being wrapped in a robe the fluffier the robe the better those are my first three steps that I do ASAP like I am not somebody that has makeup on and can come home and just like chill or anything I have to come home go straight upstairs change out of my jeans if I'm wearing jeans and then also wipe my makeup off I can't have it on for longer than I need to have it on you know I actually have this little like headband thing that I like to wear so I'm just gonna untie my hair and I'm gonna put this on instead and this will make sure that like none of my hair gets wet so after that what I do is I always go and try to make take my makeup off if I have makeup remover wipes I'll use those I only use those like if I'm traveling or something it's just easier it's a lot less messy and it's just easier to travel with but what I normally like to do is I go in with like a cleansing oil this is one from NYX to be honest this is the one I've been using since I got it and I got it in like last September or something this is my second bottle and I just take two pumps of it two or three pumps depending on how much makeup I have rub it in my fingers and then I just put it all over my face especially if you're wearing a liquid lip I feel like the only way a liquid lipstick comes off of my lips is with like an oil as you guys can see so I just take this I shouldn't have went into the lipstick yet I usually go onto my lips at the very end so it doesn't do this but I just totally forgot so this liquid lipstick is not coming off I sometimes do have to go over this twice so what i'm gonna do right now is quickly go and just wipe this ah it's on my teeth you guys i promise it usually does not look this messy i don't know what just happened so i'm gonna quickly wash this off and we're gonna go in with a second layer of the cleanser let me go do that all right so i had to take my contacts off because it was just becoming all oily so now i'm gonna do the majority of it came off i'm gonna do a second layer and also this oil is supposed to go on a dry face so you don't have to wet your face before putting this on and i like to make sure my makeup is like really off so you're gonna notice that sometimes i do the same thing like two times just to make sure that the makeup is off i'm very prone to acne so i can break out very easily and I like to make sure that, you know, there's no gunk stuck on my face. Done. I am now going to quickly go and wash this off again. And then for cleanser, I've currently been using this one. I mean, it's whatever. It's by Benefit. It's called the Foaming Lee Facial Wash. And I've been liking it. I use this twice. So I make sure I get it off, um, the makeup off again. So I do one layer, wipe it off, and then I do another layer and wipe it off. And then we're going to move on to one more cleansing step before we go on to toner. All right, so now that that has been washed off, I'll be honest, for cleansers, I don't feel like you need to go to like Sephora or something and grab a crazy priced cleanser. I feel like all cleansers, you know, usually do the same thing as long as you get one that works for your skin type. But one that I have been liking that I do splurge on, I tell you guys about this brand all the time. Not sponsored or anything. And this is the acne treatments that I use. So they do come, comes in a pack of three, like with a cleanser, a toner, and an acne medication, which I use. Um, I think the total for all three is like 150 bucks, but it does keep my acne in check. So they have a cleanser, obviously, in this step and this is more of like a cleanser geared towards like acne prone skin so the last step I will do in terms of like washing my face I'm gonna go in with this cleanser and make sure I really dig into the spots where I break out a lot which is always around this area here sometimes on my forehead but the majority is like right around this area where you guys can see I've been having a lot of scarring and stuff and then we will come back and go on to toners and all that good all right, stuff final step of cleanser done and now keep in mind this is like after like on a normal day if I'm not trying to do anything crazy I would normally just stop here put on a toner put on some moisturizer and be done but I do do something in the shower I scrub my face in the shower with a sugar scrub and then I also sometimes put on a mask if I feel like my skin is super congested which I do feel like it is so when you're done wiping off the cleanser L'Oreal actually came out with a new sugar scrub and this one is the cocoa one 
and it smells so good so it looks something like this and honestly keep your wet face obviously grab a bunch of this and we're just gonna use this to scrub our face it is a sugar scrub so this goes on your lips as well it will make your lips nice and soft don't eat it though does not taste good at least the kiwi one doesn't but this cocoa one mm, smells so good so because it's a sugar scrub the sugar will dissolve um, into your skin or like it will just dissolve because of the water and I like sugar scrubs better than just a regular scrub that has beads because I feel like the sugar isn't as harsh I'll probably use a scrub maybe once a week twice a week depending on how I feel I just have it in the shower I feel like it's easiest and most uh, like it's just easiest to use in the shower so now we're gonna wipe this off and then we're gonna go in with a mask my skin feels so soft after scrubbing it oh so soft. And you can also, you don't have to go buy a sugar scrub. You can also make your own sugar scrub at home. I think it's like with honey and like sugar or whatever. Just Google it. So much better than a reg regular scrub. I always found with regular scrubs, my skin would feel so dry afterwards. Like it would just feel stripped of everything. So yeah. Now what I'm going to do is go in with a mask. Once again, I feel very congested. My skin's been breaking out. I don't know what it is. If you guys follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, you know that I've been having like click crazy allergic reactions like my body has been reacting like crazy Actually, I don't know what it is too but my eye gets swollen shut you guys saw in my last video um in my they see get ready with me video like I started getting red spots all over my face so I'm not too sure what I'm allergic to yet I do have a doctor appointment on uh Thursday which is the day after tomorrow so I will definitely check it out and then you know when I figure it out I will let you know but in the meantime masks are kind of saving my life so this one is by Ole Hendrix this is the Hydra Clay detox mask just gonna pop this all over my face smells really good this one smells like flowers I'm down for flowers I may be a little weird but I always leave this part of my face without a mask because I like to put my glasses on and I hate when like my glasses get the mask on it I'll probably let it chill for like 15 minutes to be honest I'm gonna eat some food while I wait and then we will continue on with our get unready with me which I'm almost done I just have creams after this so all right guys last few steps which are going to be toner and moisturizer and like eye cream and all that stuff for toner right after I wash the mask off I'll always go in with the toner this is the one I've been using it's by that same brand and this is the one that obviously just keeps my acne in check just going to I'm actually running out so that's great this one if you mix it in with the acne medication that it comes with it stinks a lot so I'm not gonna put that on it is a lot harsher and you'll find that your skin is drying so I don't really want to put that on and if you guys don't want to buy the full set I've been liking these two things for acne spot too this is the blemish bully by Tarte so it's like you know a little clear liquid thing that you can put on and then I also like using tea tree oil for my acne I don't know like it doesn't make it go completely away but it does help so I'm just gonna put on some of the Tarte uh, blemish thing it, it helps a little bit I find like nothing ever makes my acne completely disappear except for the Alex peels which I haven't gotten an Alex peel in such a long time and I think that's why my skin is kind of acting up because I'm used to getting those peels then I always go in with a lip moisturizer or like a lip treatment I know a lot, I think I feel like a lot of people neglect their lips we forget that it's still part of our face so you need like a lip something that will like prevent it from wrinkling prevent it from sun damage and all that so I have this from Benefact I'm pretty sure uh, you can once again get any like generic brand just anything that will treat it honestly coconut oil is great too but I just you know this is actually a specific lip treatment so I'm assuming it has things in it that will help I haven't seen a crazy difference from it but I do put it on and it keeps my lips moisturized and then last but not least obviously we go in with a moisturizer I've been liking this one and I've been using it since January this is by benefit and it's called total moisture this is a super super thick cream like I usually don't like super thick creams but I've been liking this one so only I'll take like about this much maybe even less than that because it is so thick and I slather this all over my face especially if it's at nighttime I like to have a thicker cream because I feel like it'll just stay on longer at night it'll give it'll like soak into the skin a lot better by the time it's morning and then the last final step is an eye cream I never really used to wear eye cream I like I don't feel like any eye cream exists that can take your dark circles away I I mean you can guys can correct me if I'm wrong but I've tried a lot of things and just my eye my dark circles are still there but I've been using this Ole Hendrix it's called the banana bright eye cream and it is looks like this it has a yellow tint to it and the way that you're supposed to use this is actually put it on your fingers and blend 
blend it out only enough where like you're supposed to let the yellow still kind of peek through so it kind of covers your dark circles and that's the point of the yellowness I just dab it in and I don't completely blend it in totally do this and eye creams are great I, I, I kept finding that my under eyes were creasing a lot when I was putting on my foundation and concealer especially if I put on more of a full coverage so this has been helping it look less cakey and that's it now I don't do all these steps always I always just wash my face put on my moisturizer and stuff the only thing that are optional for me is this the facial scrub the mask but everything else I do put on a daily basis like an acne treatment um, eye cream lotion all that stuff I use I do wash my face two to three times just to make sure I get all the makeup off I do love using a Clarisonic if you guys can get your hands on that but the issues that I have with Clarisonic is that their batteries just die like in the middle of nowhere their batteries just die and then they won't charge on you so I, I haven't used my Clarisonic in such a long time but I found that when I was using my Clarisonic, it was making sure all the makeup is off and it like kind of brought all my uh, blemishes to the surface. So it kind of like picks up all of the dirt out of your face. But yeah, that's it for the little un get unready with me video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.